Hey fellow scientists, Mixter Koning here, and in this video, we're going to do a quick overview look at scientific argumentation using the CER framework. That's claim, evidence, and reasoning. To do this, let's use a sample experiment where we ask the question, does the type of liquid an ice cube is in affect how fast it melts? Imagine we did an experiment where we place ice cubes in different liquids, water, soda, and maybe milk, and timed out how long each took to melt. In our experiment, we found that ice melted in five minutes in soda, seven minutes in water, and six minutes in milk. After analyzing this data, we can now write a CER to answer our scientific question does the type of liquid an ice cube is in affect how fast it melts? First up, our claim. This is the answer to our scientific question. It should be a single sentence stated as fact without I feel or we think style statements. Most importantly, it must be based on solid evidence, but you shouldn't actually include any evidence or reasoning here in your claim. Next up, Let's talk about evidence. This is where we get to turn into detectives trying to find the most important pieces of data to support our claim. When we present our evidence in a CER, it should be laid out factually and without explanation. For example, it looks something like this. Our evidence shows that the ice cube and soda melted in five minutes, in water in seven minutes, and in milk in six minutes. I know it's tempting, but don't explain anything here. You'll save that for the last section. This leads us to reasoning. This is where we explain why our evidence supports our claim. A good scientific argument should include a scientific concept in addition to an explanation. So for our example, it looks something like this. Since the ice melted at different rates in each of our liquids, the type of liquid an ice cube is in does affect how fast it melts. This may have been caused by impurities in the non-water liquids, which could affect the melting point of ice. Further research is warranted. So, putting it all together, our claim that the type of liquid an ice cube is in does affect how fast it melts is supported by our evidence from the experiment. Our reasoning links our evidence to our claim by explaining and including the scientific concept that the impurities of other non-water liquids, like sugar content, could lower the melting point of ice. And that is how we use the CER framework to build a scientific argument. Remember that in science, it's not about what you think, but rather, if you can prove it. The CER model is a fantastic tool for helping us answer questions about the world around us.